Word? Yeah. Knowingly and unknowingly, God, I just, I'm just sorry. I just want to give it to you. I just want to give it to you. I would this, God. I'm a mess, God. I'm a mess, God. I am a mess. I cannot clean myself up without you. So, God, I'm here to confess right now and repent of all of my sin. All, oh, God. How much is all, King of Davis? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for the man of God. Hallelujah.
but she won't come to church. You know what I'm saying? Now, now y'all know she brought that to that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, but she, what was on her mind? She wanted to go to church. And she wanted to go with her uncle. Amen. So, uh, 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 the, the warfare that you didn't experience, the people still calling. God got something for you. Amen. So what I'm telling you all is, Deacon Ball, I want you to hear this. Everybody I just spoke to, you know, I want y'all to hear this. The warfare is there for what reason? Which means it's a he's distracting you from what God has. Y'all understand? He's there to distract you from that. He don't want you to hear God. He wants you to hear him through them people that's yapping in your ear. Yeah. It's a distraction. And I learned this seriously two days ago when I had a conversation with somebody, and I was like, he don't even see the warfare. Mm -hmm. This is somebody that should see it. Yeah. My Lord, my Lord. <laughs> and he didn't see it. He my still Lord. don't see it, Sister Phil. He still don't see it. And I'm like, it's as clear as daylight. <laughs> but he can't him. see it. Because yeah. he's seeing people. Yeah. He's seeing stuff. Oh, <laughs> Are y'all with me here? So what uh, uh, y'all see that yes, for sir. what it is, yeah, and yeah, not yeah. for what it isn't. Because if you look at it for what it isn't, you see people yeah. doing this. Yes, sir. You see stuff happening yes, sir. that's doing that, and that's what he wants you to see. Yeah. He, you nailed it. You said you can't see God. Uh -huh. For people, for stuff, and for things. That's the warfare. And it hit every last yeah. one of us. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. I just keep moving. I just, I just, I just keep right on. Oh, oh, all I know is I'm supposed to go here. And I'm not going to let you, it or that, stop me right. from doing that. Yeah. 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 Be patient, baby. Mm -hmm. Stick with y'all. Right. Amen. Amen. Be patient. Amen. We going to get there. All right? Yes, but he ain't going to do it quickly. You got to grow first. Yes. That's why I'm here. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. I thank God that you was obedient enough to listen to him and call me. All right. Yeah. That's right. I got you. Amen. From the day you were sitting by the sink on that counter when we were seasoning them ribs. <laughs> she was about four. She was about four, right? Three, four? I think about, about four. Something like that. A little bit of thing. That's why I started calling the peanut. I don't know what everybody else calls it. That's the peanut. That's the peanut. That's the peanut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all understand? Yeah. I'm ready to go with you. Amen. I, I'm ready to go with you. Okay. Y'all with me? Yes, sir. All right. So, um, I think I need to preach now. <laughs> amen, amen, everybody. Amen, everybody. I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all something because all y'all get hit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right now? Yes, sir. All us get hit, right? You know your boy. I ain't got to tell everybody what he know what it is. Can we talk? <laughs> this is this is mine. Where you from? You gonna hit me on Facebook Messenger talking to me like I know you? <laughs> You don't know me like that to ask me these questions like that. They ain't getting no answer because I ain't answering that. I know that's right. See, that's the problem with us. We be answering stuff we don't have to. Yes, what you picking the phone up for? What we gonna talk about? What What do you want? Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. 
Man, I'm just like that. You can't call me like that. <laughs> Talking like we friends. <laughs> I don't know you like that. Yes, <laughs> Y'all with me? Y'all with me? Amen. Everybody on Facebook know I'm a bishop. Mm -hmm. Why did you think you could just come talk to me like that? Because that's the church folk bishop. That Which tells know. me, Deacon Boy. That it's a bunch of other ones been talking to him. I ain't one of them. I ain't one of them. There you go. But you know me. You can ask me where I'm from. Well, y'all can ask me that. Jesus. Uh, Y'all, I, I, we had to take a moment. I had to talk Jesus. to our folks up in here mm -hmm. because they getting hit, yeah, and you getting hit. That's it, right Amen. Come on. And you gotta recognize the difference. Amen. Hope y'all didn't mind me talking to y'all for no. just a minute. No, no, sir. No, sir. It's all right. Elder Graham, thank you for praying for Amen. us and for me this morning. Amen. I'm gonna ride the prayer because you covered the face. Thank the Lord. With that being said, join me, if you will, to Ephesians chapter 3. On this first day of the Epiphany, yes, Hallelujah. my niece came to my apartment oh, Lord. two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Peanut? Mm -hmm. Sat on my love seat. Eating my neck bones and cabbage. You know what I'm saying? She young, y'all. She, she put some stuff on the neck. Well, I said, how that go on there? Like, y'all know, but that's how she. So she was sitting on, and 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 I'm I'm saying it because I remember it vividly. And she gave her life to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 a question this morning in the car about some homegoing celebrations on yesterday and how, you know, we, we won't never die. So yeah, we will, but we won't. We won't. We'll, we'll spend our eternity somewhere, depending on what it is. And I said, but you ain't got to worry about it. I said, what you did the other day going to keep you from the, from the enemy. So he don't like what you did, so he's going to come at you with these little oh, war yes, facts. Yeah. Oh, yes, Getting yeah. somebody that don't know Satan on whispered in their ear and trying to tell you, come go with me. Oh. Nah, you yeah, can't go over there with this. Nah, I done left you back there. You need to stay back there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. She ain't falling for it. She ain't falling, but they gonna keep coming at you, baby. Oh, don't yeah. worry about it. You're, they, 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 they can't have it. They come. Somebody just called me last night. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, see, yeah, I just told you. Uh -huh. That's right. Mm -hmm. you, you do like I do. That's all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can keep oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no, I don't want you or it. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 I'm, I'm just telling y'all, it won't stop. You just got to keep going. Amen. So it, um, I'm trying to move, mm -hmm. but um, just be obedient. Y'all, 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 listen to me. It's a process. I can't stand here in 20 minutes and keep you out of the bullseye sight of Satan. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Keep coming. Keep watching. Keep listening. And let's grow together. Amen. Keep Amen. coming. Keep listening. Let's grow together. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to get there. We just got to keep growing. The, the, the more you eat, I just told y'all she was three, three or four years old. Sitting on the uh, the countertop in the kitchen while we was that was that formed our relationship right there when she was a little girl. Mm -hmm. Look at her now. Amen. She's grown up. Amen. Why? Because she kept eating the uncle's neck bone. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> but y'all got the message. Y'all y'all got what I said, right? Y'all ready to move? Because yes. there's something in the word today yes, for all of us. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. I normally would have been done preaching by now. Oh. Or 10 minutes away. Yeah. Amen. Let's see if I can still do it. Now, I can't do it in 10 minutes, but right. oh, my eyes got big, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I can, I can, I, 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 let's see if I'm good enough to get us through it. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise Ephesians Lord. chapter 3. <laughs> Brother Lorenzo, what verse did I say I was going to read? 10 and 11. All right. We, we, there's 12, maybe 13 verses that we're going to cover, but I only want to read one or two. Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise we're going to begin in verse 10. I'm going to read them both this morning just so we can catch it up. Y'all with me? Amen. When you found the aforementioned uh, passage of Scripture and verse coming from Ephesians chapter 3, we're going to read verse uh, 10 and 11, but we will cover 1 through 12, maybe 13. Amen? Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord says from the King James Version, to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church. 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 Yeah. Did y'all catch that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the manifold wisdom of God according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let's listen to it from the New Living Translation. God's purpose in all this was to use the church mm -hmm, to display his wisdom in its rich variety to all the unseen rulers and authorities in heavenly places. This was his eternal plan, which he carried out through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Praise God, everybody. Praise God. Praise God. On this first day of the Epiphany season, y'all know what the Epiphany is. That's the day the light went off for you. Yeah. Amen. My niece got that light shined on her when she Praise God. who yeah. God was. And I said something, and she looked at me like, that's the Epiphany. Mm -hmm. Amen. That day when you realize that Jesus is God or God right. is God. Uh, yeah. The very day that you see it. Praise Amen. the Lord. That's the epiphany. I'll explain more as we go. But after a while, the warfare has come. Mm -hmm. Satan hits us here mm -hmm. and hits us there. Mm -hmm. We remember what we used to do and how good it felt. Oh, we thought. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And your light starts dimming. Mm -hmm. You forget that God is God. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. We backslide. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and look, that's okay. If you backslide, you're still saved. That's okay. I, I know what the Bible says. Yeah. I don't care what your denomination yeah. says. Yeah. I know what the Bible says. Y'all okay. 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 with me. Y'all yeah. oh, with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, that, that just means God is trying to turn you around and bring you back. That's all that means. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but, but once you hear, it's how you... Y'all, I'm trying to move, but y'all, 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 what, what about your bad children? Oh, oh, y'all understand what I'm saying? On, you don't get rid of them when they're bad. They go to jail, you still give them commissary packages. Still writing letters, taking their collect calls. You don't get rid of them. Why would God get rid of you? Because you got bad. Y'all understand what I'm saying here? God ain't gonna take you, take your salvation from you when He That's gives it to right. you. It's a gift. Y'all can sit down. Y'all can. I ain't even told you time yet. It's all good. Y'all some obedient folks, and I love you to pieces. Amen. But y'all understand what I'm saying? We 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 skipping and hopping and dancing in church and don't know who God is, but you know. We forget that Satan was the worship leader. Ooh, that's right. that's right. And what are we doing in church? Worshiping him, dancing and camping. I ain't heard not one word of prayer. Y'all with me here? Amen. So I'm here to talk about this morning how to keep your light from fading. All right, man. How to keep the light from Praise God, somebody else. Maybe I can start now with the word. I've been preaching all morning, but. Now to the, go into the word. Amen. Amen. My buddy, one of the bubbles, there's two bubbles. Dr. John Fairless, my best friend, talked to him last night while watching the game for about 30 minutes. And uh, Del McChilton in North Carolina. 
they let me hang out with them every now and then. And we took a picture together in North Carolina in the mountains doing a preaching lab. I'm going to take you with me. And, uh, and, and in the picture was two bubbas and a bishop. <laughs> so they got this podcast, Two Bubbles and a Bible, but they say Two Bubbles and a Bishop. I was like, man, I'm honorary. I like that. So um, Delmer wrote this. I'm going to share with y'all his experience. Praise God, y'all. Praise God. He shares this. He says, I was once deep in the graduate library at UNC Chapel Hill during a power outage. I was surrounded by total darkness, and I was not only in the dark, I was also lost. Ooh, anybody ever been there? In the dark and lost. <laughs> With no idea where I was or how to get out. Now, a lot of us there right now. He said, at first, when I thought it would be over in a few minutes, it was interesting. Y'all know how that is. Hmm. So this is what total lack of light is like. Then it got a little funny as I heard people trying to move around, followed by loud bumps and crashes and muffled curses. But as time went on, it got very annoying and not a little frightening. Hmm. He said, finally, I spotted a small beam of light. I yelled out, stay still, I'll come to you. For I knew it was easier for me to go to the light than it was for the person with the light to search for me. Uh -huh. Especially when no one even knew I was there. That's what the Magi did. They went and followed the light. The light didn't follow them. Y'all ain't in here. He said, finally, I spotted a beam of light. No, I'm sorry. Let me keep going. He said, I found my way to the library assistant by following the beams of his little keychain pen light. Mm -hmm. Together, we found the staircase and worked our way out of the darkness into the light. Afterward, I kept thinking, it's amazing how little we need sometimes, how little light we need yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like the Magi who only needed the pinpoint of a new star to find their way to Jesus. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Amen. I just talked about some stuff here just a few minutes ago. The world <coughs> can seem an awful dark place sometimes. Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes, yes. Things like the ongoing COVID pandemic, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the unrelenting negativity of American politics, 15 votes to get a speaker, never okay. happened in the, in the history, yeah. economic trouble all over the world, et cetera. Yeah. Burden us with the doubts about there being somebody up in here. Our personal lives can also be dark, right? Yes, yes, yes. Strained relationships, economic troubles, loved ones sick or dying or both, marriages, careers, or children that have not worked out quite the way we had planned. Come on now. What do we do? What do we do what we can to push back the darkness? Some people give in to addictions, numbing their pain with their addiction of joy. Others embrace philosophy or practice politics, believing and hoping that by thinking right or doing right, they can cure their sickness unto mm -hmm. death. Mm -hmm. That by saving the snail daughter, they can somehow save their very soul. It's all futile. Still others strive after material success and financial security as if by surrounding themselves with enough stuff, they can insulate themselves from decay and despair. Mm -hmm. Some try to turn back the clock. Mm -hmm. Struggling to resurrect traditional values. Remember when the pandemic was lessening, you now you got these churches going back all of a sudden, revivals all over the place. Mm -hmm. And ain't nobody getting saved. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Y'all understand what I'm saying? We dancing mm -hmm. and we shout. Some the whole church service. People just mm -hmm. the whole and I'm I'm watching on Facebook and I'm like, okay. Nobody getting saved. Mm -hmm. Y'all with me here? Mm -hmm. Hoping that time can be reversed and the days of Ozzy and Harriet, the Beaver Clan and Mayberry can be brought back to save us from ourselves. That's what happens to many in the body of Christ that have lost sight of the light. Are y'all in the house? Mm -hmm. Or at least it has been dimmed considerably. We have lost sight of or forgotten that day of our epiphany. 
<coughs> Anybody with me here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. An epiphany, let me tell y'all what it is. It is a sudden realization about the nature or meaning of something. Mm -hmm. An epiphany can often come about due to some experience that may trigger the sudden realization. <coughs> the things you see mm -hmm. or have seen. Those experiences. Y'all in six. Can I give you one? Like King Herod in Matthew 2, when he feared that a toddler would depose him. <laughs> That's an epiphany. Yeah, yeah, amen. Or again, like the Magi who only needed the pinpoint of a new star to find their way to Jesus. Yes, sir. An epiphany, watch me now, is anything that refers to Jesus' manifestation of himself to the world or to us personally. Yes, sir. And it is that experience that led you to Christ. In other words, the day the light came on Amen. for you. Yes. Amen. Do y'all remember that day? Yes. I remember that day. I was on the living room floor of a friend of mine, and I went to church with her, and she fell out. And I wanted to help my friend. And the Lord was telling me, ain't nothing you can do for her. <laughs> so I just stood there with my mouth dropped open mm -hmm. over that first assembly of God. Mm -hmm. I was like, what in the world? And I mm -hmm. felt that warm something hot mm, yes. hit me in the top of my head yep. and creep down slowly down my body. I was like, what in what the world? Is world? Isn't I've never experienced that before in my life. That was the Holy Ghost that Holy hit me yes. in that yes. church. No seller's prayer, no, not, but I know the Holy Ghost hit me that day. Amen. And I never forgot. And I went home watching the Dolphins. Mm -hmm. Or oh, the Dolphins was watching me because I was sitting on the floor <laughs> trying to figure out what happened. Yeah. And then my friend called me. Hey, how you doing? And I'm like, you know what? I'm glad you called me. I got some questions. Mm -hmm. And she invited me over for dinner. Y'all know I don't eat no okra. <laughs> <laughs> she asked me what I wanted. I didn't eat it, but it was it was grilled pork chops, rice, and uh, corn and tomatoes and okra. Oh, 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 delicious. <laughs> I didn't eat. I, I, I sat there and looked at it, and I'm like, "This girl, I don't, I don't eat that." <laughs> Amen. Amen. But that ain't what I went there for. I didn't went there. To, I didn't go there to eat. I went there, and she. And, and 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 she led me to the Lord right there on the dining room floor. Amen. 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 I said she was a friend of mine. I wasn't. I, I ain't going over there for nothing else. Amen. She led me to the Lord, and and because of what she did, is a bishop standing in front of you right now. Amen. Amen. You don't know what God gonna do with you, Peanut. You don't know. Are y'all with me here? That was my epiphany. What was yours? Y'all understand, what is it that led you to the Lord? And I ran for two years. Right. Praise God. How long you ran? You ran? <laughs> Y'all understand where I'm coming from here? Y'all have to excuse this message because I'm getting a little personal in it as we go along. You know what I'm saying? So, but I remember that day. I remember. Do you remember? Y'all understand what I'm saying? If you don't remember, you probably ain't had your epiphany yet and been in church for a year. Y'all ain't hear what I said. Just because you're going to church don't mean you say. Just because you was taught how to speak in tongues don't mean you say. Talk. Talk. They freaking out. Yeah, they got some churches that are yeah. either you got it or you don't. And if I ain't got it, the class ain't gonna make me happy. All right. I, somebody ain't gonna like me today, but y'all understand. So it, 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 let me swing back around and refocus it. Take a little time to dwell on the mystery that's contained in Ephesians chapter three. After all these years of studying and reading and preaching the gospel, what is it that still mystifies you? What stirs a bit of wonder in your heart? What puzzles you as you think about it? What is it that you do not yet know about God? Has your light gone out or diminished considerably? 
What do we do to keep the light from going out or diminishing? There are three things the text is going to tell us. Come on, yeah. And I'm going to try to pull it out here in 10 or less. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try. Okay. The first thing the text tells us about this light that has gone off or when the epiphany hit us and how do we keep it from fading mm -hmm. or going out. Mm -hmm. The first thing we got to do is receive it. Hey, hey come on now. Okay. Amen. Amen. You got to receive it. And which means you got to see it. Are y'all with me here? You got to see it. I knew, I didn't know what it was, but I knew I ain't never felt that warm, mm -hmm. hot feeling that hit me and went slow down. What is the, I, I received that. Right? Which means you got to see it. Y'all understand what I'm saying? And 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 can I can I drop something in your laps real quick? Yes, sir. It must be received personally. Mm -hmm. Amen. I can't walk in church and you slap all upside my head and push me down because I wouldn't fall. No. Now you know. <laughs> Y'all understand? <laughs> it must be received personally. Yes. Y'all understand? Look at verses Amen. one through three. Paul said. When I think of all this, and we talked about this in Bible study on Tuesday night, but um, if you want to know what he means when I when I think about all this, you got to go back to chapter two, maybe even one. Amen. As he's telling some Gentiles, you belong in the family too. Amen. Because the Jews thought they had a monopoly on God, and everybody else got to be an outside gate. Y'all understand? So Paul was telling him, no, you belong to. So that's what he says, when I think of all this, praise the Lord, I, Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, for the benefit of you Gentiles, mm -hmm. assuming by the way that you know God, gave me the special responsibility mm -hmm. of extending his grace to you Gentiles. He received it. He received mm -hmm. it. Yeah. As I briefly wrote earlier, God himself revealed his mysterious plan to me. Yes. He All said. Right now. Praise the Lord. Praise you got you, you to gotta receive it personally. Y'all in here. And, and it, you must receive it personally before it can be shared prophetically. Okay. How you going to walk up in church? You got saved four months ago and now you're a prophet. <laughs> so let me ask y'all a question. How can you prophesy when you don't even know God? That's right. Amen. Y'all, I'm going to make some people mad, but I think we'll be all right. That makes me question whether you know God or not. Yeah, everybody in here is okay. But y'all understand. Y'all don't be calling yourself an apostle when you, when you can't even get past messaging people on Facebook. Y'all, 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 is anybody okay right now? You can't, okay, you, if you don't know God, he ain't going to give you a word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, you don't know his voice when he does speak to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the voice you are hearing, you thought it was God, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Satan is good like that. He was, the, the Bible says that he was the most deceptive of all. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 3 verse 1. He's so good, he's so deceptive that you will think he's God. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's it's speaking to you all the while, and you prophesying to people, and it wasn't from God. My Lord. It, 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 it must be received personally before it can be shared prophetically. Mm -hmm. Y'all, let's look at verse 4 and 5, so y'all won't say I said he says, as you read what I have written, but we saw in verse 1 through 3 that he received it personally first. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. You will understand my insight into this plan regarding Christ. God did not reveal it to previous generations. Why? Because they thought that they were privileged. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now by his spirit, he has revealed it to his holy apostles and prophets. Look at what Isaiah said in um, chapter 49, verse 6. This will tell you right there that it, it, it was always in the plan for the Gentiles, but they didn't, it wasn't meant to be revealed to them. It was meant to be revealed to Paul later, and Paul revealed it to the rest of us. Y'all got me now. Amen. Watch, watch, watch. 
Um, Isaiah 49, verse 6, he says, you will do more than restore the people of Israel to me. So more than just to the Jews. Is what he says. Yes, right. Watch what he said. Yes, I right. will make you a what? A light, light. epiphany mm -hmm. to the Gentiles, and you will bring my salvation to the ends of the earth for everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord. I add it for everybody. Y'all in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, are are y'all with me here? Yes, it, 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 you must receive it, which means you got to see it. And you have to receive it personally before it can be shared prophetically. All right. All right. Does that mean only prophets can uh, share God's word? No. No. God's no. no. He gives it to everybody. Yeah, everybody. One right. thing us pastors has to learn is you ain't the only one in the church with a vision. Right. Come on, Bishop. Come on, Come on. Mm -hmm. Think of all shared a vision yes, sir. this morning. Mm -hmm. Lorenzo asked me because the Holy Ghost had you and your message was going, I ain't finna interrupt that. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, should I move it along? I'm like, no riding. Mm -hmm. Let him know. And then I said, use your instincts. Mm -hmm. Your intuition is telling you, I trust it. Mm -hmm. Do what you need to do. Yes, amen. Amen. And then I told him, he's the one up here. Mm -hmm. Follow his lead. Mm -hmm. Did I not say that? Mm -hmm. yes, sir. You don't know I said that. Mm -hmm. you, uh, he don't know what cause it wasn't. Mm -hmm. he, it wasn't him driving the car. Y'all understand? He wasn't driving the car. He was just sitting there. All right. Are y'all with me here? Y'all with me here? Yes. So I said, follow his lead. He the one got so us pastors have to learn. You ain't the only one in the That's church right. with vision. Yeah. God gives all of us a vision. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And only the insecure ones will say you ain't got vision from God. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Amen. Come on, Bishop. Come on, Bishop. Can I move? That's right. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm trying not to get caught in another one. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so first, you must receive it, which means mm -hmm. you have to see it. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Second thing the text tells us. Once you receive it, you gotta release it. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Amen. Which means now, as you tell the gospel story, you gotta sell it. Amen. Okay. Right. I originally said, Brother Greg, that that we're to tell it, but when you watch Paul's letters, yes, sir, he sells yes, Jesus. Yes, sir. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's true. Come That's on, very true. Somebody say praise God right praise now if you got what I mean. We got Y'all know what I'm doing right now when I was telling these stories and I was doing all this stuff when my niece got saved on my love seat in my apartment eating my net ball. Yes, sir. I had to sell it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And because I sold it, she bought it. Yes, and she came to church this morning. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. That's enough right there to praise God. Right. Y'all follow, follow what I'm saying. You got to sell it, which means you, you got to release it. You can't keep that to yourself. That's right. That's right, Bishop. Can I make some clear? I'm going to make some folk mad today because I'm just saying. That's all right. I'm not the Bishop of Greater Faith. Okay. Ben Sardar, Fred, and Lorenzo, we had this conversation on Friday. I'm the pastor of Greater Faith. I'm the senior pastor of Greater Faith. To one, two, three, four ministers sitting up in here right now. Mm -hmm. Or elders. Mm -hmm. Y'all understand? Amen. That's right. And some perspectives. Yes, sir. I don't know what's up with you when God does it, but I don't call you bishop. I don't know how many times I have to get. <laughs> y'all understand. So, but y'all understand what I'm saying. We get it backwards. How can I call myself bishop and I'm only the pastor of this church? Can I go first? Come on. Yes, sir. Come on. How you gonna be an apostle and you ain't got nothing but a church? So somebody don't gonna get mad, mad, but that's all right. I mean, you know, if you need to hear it, you just need to hear it. You know, you know what I'm saying? I didn't make myself bishop. All right, come on. I ain't had nothing to do with it. All right. And even some folks will look at me because I'm up here with tennis shoes and blue jeans and a sport coat that I ain't no bishop. Mm. And no bow tie. You didn't call me. Hey, come on. <laughs> I don't care what you say. 
I don't care if you doubt me because you ain't going to distract me with your doubt. I'm going to Gulf Shores, Alabama on Tuesday as a bishop. Come on now. And what you think or what you say ain't going to stop me from going. Amen. Amen. Equipping our leaders Amen. in leadership. Amen. And if they don't show up, you miss what God had for you. Uh, I ain't going to miss what he got for me. Yes, sir. Amen. Praise God, somebody. Y'all in the house? You know what I said? If you're mad, tell it to who did it. And it ain't me. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I ain't me at all. God is. I'll take my little bitty what you gave me and run with it in Jesus' name. Amen. And let you get all the glory. Because I don't want nothing. I ain't got nothing. I ain't worthy to get it. Didn't do nothing to get it. Praise the Lord, somebody. We got to release it, which means when we get it, we got it, we receive it, and then we give it away. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. To somebody else. To somebody else. So yes. me, the big bishop, and my niece comes over, and I, and I can't lead her to the Lord. Mm. Mm. Come on. What am I in this for? Mm. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Mm. What am I in this for? I asked Deacon Ball when they when um, he was telling me about somebody. I said, How are you leading them? Mm. Y'all don't hear what I said. Yeah, if y'all got somebody in your life, how are you leading them? Yes, yes, yes. Are you releasing it? Mm -hmm. Did you sell it? My Lord. Right. Y'all understand? Yes, so sir. here's me here. For, for those that doubt, I don't know how to release it. I don't know how to sell it. Can I tell y'all something? Tell them, God gives the Ooh, ability. Yes. Ooh, God gives the ability. Yes, God gives the ability. Thank you. you know, you know what we gotta do? We have to draw on God's power to do your part. Amen. 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 Look at verse 6 and 7. I'm trying to move. Look at verse 6 and 7. And this is whose plan? God's plan. Did it say your plan? No. It said God's plan. And this is God's plan. Both Gentiles and Jews who believe the good news share equally in the riches inherited by God's children. Both of Part of the same body. Yes, sir. And oh, both, both enjoy the promise of blessings because they belong to who? Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. But by God's grace and mighty power, and we are to draw on that. Y'all with me here. I have been given the privilege of serving him by spreading this good news. You got to release it. Yes, sir. Come on. Amen. Which means you gotta sell it. Yes. Yes. Because Satan is trying to keep them from buying it. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise, Praise the Lord, somebody. So, so uh, a a amen. 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 So God gives the ability, and we are to draw on that power amen. to do our part. Not only that, but we're also to make ourselves Available. Yes, 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 Make yourself available. Can I tell y'all something? And it's not just for the title. I said title. I was consecrated to the office of second presiding bishop. I wasn't consecrated to be the bishop of greater faith. The greater faith doesn't need a bishop. Amen. Greater faith needs a pastor. Amen. Yes, Amen. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on Are y'all with me yes, in here? Sir. Are y'all with me yes, in here? So, just, you, you, so prophet so-and-so is the pastor of this church, and I'm the only one who can prophesy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's how they do it. <laughs> yeah. Come on, somebody. Come on now, it's yeah. not just for the title. Yes, I don't even get up here till it's time to do my part. Okay. Come on. Amen, Bishop. I ain't doing nothing in here when we got four, five ministers in here. Mm -hmm. What am I doing everything for? Mm -hmm. I don't have the gift of Elder Graham of tongue speaking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Elder Williams does. Mm -hmm. 
Elder Pete does. I don't. Amen, amen. And I ain't taking no class to learn. <laughs> They're saying, I'm that Toyota Suzuki. <laughs> yes. When they really know how to do it. Amen. So what am I going to do? Yes, I'm going to move out the way and let them come up and amen. Elder Graham amen. start praying. Amen. And they start speaking in tongues. And she start prophesying. Yes, and, yes, Lord. Yes, come on, Bishop. And I'm going to bask in the glory of the Lord while they do it. Watch the Lord's work. Yes, Lord. Watch the Lord's work. Come on now. Come on, man. Am I preaching to anybody here? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Oh, let's, let's, let's go to verse 8 and 9. You know, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, 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 I talked for 10 or 15 minutes before That's I started right, preaching, so that gives me a little grace, right? right? So uh, look yeah, at verse on, 8 and 9. Just be obedient. Paul said this in all of his humility. I, I was so happy to read this because I'm like that. I'm up here in tennis shoes and blue jeans. But people telling me, man, you look sharp today. Thank you. No bow tie, no pointy shoes, though. I don't own a bow tie. <laughs> My feet too big to wear pointy shoes. <laughs> I'll be walking like this to church. <laughs> See, y'all, they got me putting up in this. Y'all, I can't take them nowhere because they don't have that. Well, one thing for sure, if Christianity is boring, it ain't in here. I'm sorry. Y'all understand. So look, 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 Paul is so humble. Watch what he said. Though I am the least deserving of all God's people. Oh. He graciously gave me the privilege of what? Telling the Gentiles about the endless treasure available to them in life. <laughs> to a people that those that are titled don't want to talk to. Ooh. I'm a bishop and I was given the good morning message. Deacon Ness LaVon just walked in my office and got some water. Yeah, she was all right. She didn't do that wrong. She knew she could come in there and get it. Amen. I walk in my office, Deacon Ball is there before I get there. Amen. <laughs> Y'all understand what I'm saying? And I am a bishop, and I, so I walk up in the restaurant with tennis shoes on and blue jeans. They won't, they don't want me to say what it is. But you can't keep me away from the table. Oh, Y'all amen. Amen. understand what I'm saying? Amen. So, so here's Paul. You, you know, he said, "Okay, I'll, I'll sell it to him. You don't want to, I will." Y'all, y'all with me here? Verse nine. He said, "I was chosen." Do y'all get that? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Chosen. Mm -hmm. I was chosen. Amen. Who chosen? God did. Amen. You didn't. That's right. This is the new so I don't care what you think, what you say, how you talk about me behind my back. You ain't had nothing to do with where I am. Well, Jesus. Praise the Lord. He says I was chosen to do what? To explain, which means to tell mm -hmm. or to sell. <coughs> to explain. Y'all, y'all listen. To explain means I'm gonna sell it now. Okay. I'm going past telling you. Yes, sir. Do y'all see it? It's in the text. Mm -hmm. I'm going past telling you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to explain it to you, which Amen. means I'm going to go a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. Amen. Than, than the other one. Y'all understand what I'm saying? I was chosen. He was chosen to sell it. He was chosen to explain to everyone what this mysterious plan that God, the creator of all things, had kept secret from the beginning. Amen. Wow. But we know he said it way back in Isaiah. Amen. He probably said it before that. Jesus. He already said it. But they didn't hear it. Mm. Or it wasn't meant for them to say it. It was meant for Paul to say it. But he told them, in essence, uh, uh, he going to come do it. <coughs> he going to be a light. The epiphany going to go off in them Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Somebody. Mm -hmm. Y'all in the house. Y'all Y'all good. Can I get to the last point and then we're going to sit down? Yeah. First, you got to receive it, which means then you got to reveal it. Okay. Which means you got to show it. Yes, sir. And I, I'm, 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 I'm going I'm I'm to fast forward and go ahead and give it to you so you all can see something in this verse you didn't see before. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, you won't see it because I didn't. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all ready for this? Y'all yes, ready for this? Revealed to who? Mm. It is witnessed by the attestants. I said witnessed by the attestants. Who are the attestants? Attestants are someone who witnessed what you do. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Praise God. Y'all with me now? Watch verse 10 and 11. Y'all ready to get your knock sock, your Come socks knocked off? Y'all ready for this? Watch, watch this. This is why I like the New Living Translation. Watch this. Verse 10. Mm -hmm. God's purpose, God's purpose, God's purpose yes, in all this was to use what? The church. The church. It's in the Bible. It's in the text. To use the church to do what? Display to display his wisdom, wisdom in its rich variety. Watch this. To who? Oh, to all oh, the oh, unseen oh, rulers oh, and authorities oh, in heavenly oh, places. Oh, wow. All right now. This was his eternal plan, which he carried out through Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus our Lord. Lord. Can I help break this down for break those that? Y'all got questions about that, don't you? Mm -hmm. Y'all got questions about verse 10? No, sir. Can I help break it down a little more? Did he say he got it? And I believe he does. But watch this. He said, unseen rulers and authorities in heavenly places. Right? Who's there? Who's there is the attestants are the spiritual forces. Okay. Watch me now. Watch me now. Because we want to believe there's a heaven and no hell. Mm. There are spiritual forces, both heavenly and hostile. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Wait till after you ask me that question. Write it down so you can come back and ask me, all right? Because I'm going to answer that question. Mm -hmm. Both heavenly and hostile. Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Y'all with me now? Okay. So what we do is being revealed. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're seeing what we're doing. What we're doing. Yes, all right. If I was bishop yeah. so-and-so and only got a church and ain't doing nothing outside of that, they witnessing that. Yeah. Yeah. They're watching yeah. that. Yeah. If I called myself, they know I ain't genuine. Yeah. <laughs> right. Are y'all with me up in here? <clears throat> both heavenly and hostile. They're both Witnessing what we do, yeah, and it yeah, will yeah, show yeah. up yes, it will. to everybody yes, walking it will. with us. Everybody, yes. do y'all understand yes, what I'm sir. saying? My question to you all is this: Who or what shows up in you? Come on, yes, 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 yes. Come on. yes, yes, yes. yes They're both yes, watching. Yes, yes, yes. Both have influence. Mm -hmm. On us, oh, they are yeah, both yeah, in yeah, our ears. Yeah, yeah. Who are you listening to, y'all? I, I use this a lot too. Remember that Tom and Jerry cartoon? We had the little angel on one shoulder yeah, and the little devil on the other. He was like, "Do it!" And then, "No, no, do it!" Oh, go ahead, do it. No, don't do it. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, it is. Y'all understand? Yes, it is. Have you ever struggled with yes, what you're doing? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> If I do it, this going to happen. happen yes, but I really want to do, do it. it. Uh -huh. So you're hearing, go ahead, do it. No, don't yeah, do it. <laughs> go ahead, do it. It ain't going to hurt nobody. No, no don't do it. It ain't going to hurt you. I'm telling you. Go ahead. One hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. My Lord. If you do, you go going to get up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. Yes, sir. She Three. hit you up on Messenger. Go on and talk to her. It ain't gonna hurt. Yes, sir. Yeah. If you yeah, do, yeah, she yeah. gonna say something you like. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. No, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shawty, what your name is? Joy. <laughs> Don't do it. He gonna break your heart. Okay. You be sorry. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna hurt you, girl. I'm just telling you that his head cocked over when he said, "Don't be nothing." Yeah, yeah. 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 Heard from me. Oh, I did that till God straightened my neck up. 
I'm trying to see y'all got me cut up in here. Y'all understand what I'm saying? You know, we normally get out of here by we, you're gone, but we still ain't. We can still be out before the other church. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, and I'm gonna give you the mic. All right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Don't forget it, like I would. Yeah. All right. So it is witnessed by a tester. Mm -hmm. Spiritual spiritual force is both both heavenly and hostile. Mm -hmm. They watch us. Mm -hmm. And yeah, our actions so reflect who we're listening to. Right. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it does. That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. It shows up. We cuss out clerks in Walmart because mm -hmm. the line ain't faster. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Go to Popeye's after church and ain't got no chicken. Mm -hmm. yeah. How you act is who you're listening to. Amen. Praise God, somebody. Praise God. Put your story Praise in there. So not only... In, in, in our revelations, you know, not only is it witnessed by a tester, but we also now have access. The oh Jews were telling the Gentiles, you don't have you don't access. Paul yeah. oh, yeah. flipped the switch and told them, yes, you do. So look at verse 12. He said, because of Christ and our faith in him, we can now come boldly and confidently into God's <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Not just some of us, Ooh. but all of us. Ooh. Thank you, Jesus. Who indeed have accepted God <clears throat> on his offer Thank you, Lord. to be with Thank them for you, all Jesus. eternity. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And I'll look at verse 13, and I'm going to stop. Mm -hmm. So Paul encouraged <clears throat> these Gentiles. Mm -hmm. And by the way, Ephesians is one of three prison epistles yes, or letters yeah. that he wrote <laughs> to the church. Because of my trials here, Paul is in prison yeah. and told them, don't lose no heart. heart. So all of you in here now that is going through something, hear the words of Paul. Don't lose don't heart. Lose heart. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. He says, I'm suffering for you, so you should feel honored. I'm going to break this down and we're going to stop. If Paul had not preached, he would not be in prison. Mm, yeah. mm -hmm. And if he were not in prison, they would not be prisoners. Not be prisoners. Amen. Amen. Did y'all hear? Yeah. As the spiritual leader of this church, I get hit more than you all. But you won't see it. Because what shows up in me is who I'm listening to. Mm. The other one is trying to get me to listen, but I don't. <laughs> because I know whose voice I hear. You ain't supposed to see me crying. Not that I'm above crying. But the answer to my call subjects me to spiritual warfare on the highest level. I can't quit. I can't give up. Amen. I can't falter. Amen. Why? Because you all are watching me. Amen. Praise God, somebody. Praise God. Praise God. You all are watching me. And if I lose heart, okay. you will we'll lose heart. Yes, sir. I'm living witness of that. I, I saw that recently. Not from me, but from another pastor. Y'all follow me? Yes, sir. We go through. As we go through, that's the source of. Is there anybody here who. Um, Amen. Don't forget what you were going to say because I'm going to pull you up here in a minute. Did you enjoy yourself here today? Do you feel like this is the place you should be to learn and to grow? Yes. Do you want to be a part of it? Only place. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wow. Amen. Amen. Okay, Lord. listen. Um, 
I'm going to tell y'all what she said. She said this is the only place. My Lord. My Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Yes. Right now, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna call you by your name, and I'll, I I know your whole name. Amen. Tina, do you wanna make this your home where you can grow and learn? Yeah. So you yeah. take it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, here with me. Hallelujah. 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 Oh Lord, yes. I will sing. Hallelujah. Oh Lord. It's my niece. Hallelujah. So I already told you all that she gave her life to the Lord. She's already saved. Amen. She did that in my house. Amen. Amen. Now she's become a, a kingdom builder of greater faith. All right. Look what God just sent her. Yeah. Last week. Thank now, you, Lord. The first Sunday of the year sent us Elder Graham. We yeah. needed, we needed God, a male man. elder, a strong yeah. And he said, oh, yes, 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 God yes. sent that. Yes, sir. Elder Graham, you are the answer to many prayers. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. And now we got my niece here, a young adult. Yes, yes sir. Which is another need we had here. Yes. Yes, sir. You are the answer. And um, welcome. Welcome, yes. welcome, I give to you right now the right hand of fellowship, the great faith, Baptist fellowship. Amen. Go ahead, baby. Amen. 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 So, is there anybody else? Everybody else in here is home. Amen. Everybody else here is home, so we're okay, right? Yes, sir. Um, and I personally talk to all of you. Is there anybody here that may not be? Within the ark of safety, you want to give your life to the Lord right now. Come on forward. Come on forward. You can do this. Amen. Amen. Is there anybody on the live stream that um, wants this gift with this young lady had? Call us. Message us. Do all the things. Um, whatever it is, we we will meet your need. Amen. Praise Amen. The Lord. Amen. 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 So. Um, with that being said, we thank you. Um, I'm going to give my niece the mic and let her talk, say what she want to say. Come on, baby son. Amen. 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 But um, y'all, if y'all want to hear that, you got to come. <laughs> <laughs> if you message me and say we want to hear more, then I'll, I'll start that next week. Amen. But um, God bless you. We'll see you next week. We love you. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Amen.